Welcome to the Laws of Physical Health, hosted by Dr. David Lipman, our chiropractor in the Laws of Life Network. How are you, Dr. Lipman? I'm doing amazing. Nice to see you, Blanca, and thanks again for this opportunity to, uh, to share. Oh, we are so honored to have you, and you were a guest at the networking group. Everybody just loved how much knowledge and wisdom you are teaching everyone about their physical health, and I'm so excited. So what is your show going to be about? Well, I'm going to focus on really the things that I've come to learn over time, starting with my own injuries from a very young age and learning how to sort of overcome and manage them. And then through, you know, the last 30 plus years, thousands of people that I've been able to use that information to help them manage their injuries. Because my belief is, is that you can have a pain free and functional life, despite the fact that so many people suffer from pain syndromes of all kinds. But uh, there are things that people could do once they have a little bit of knowledge about the, the, core issues that you know are involved with these things and that what they can do every day to really help invest in themselves so they don't have to suffer well this is absolutely amazing and i want everybody out there watching to give dr Lipman some facebook love let's see those likes let's see those shares and let's see those comments and the best question will win a virtual consultation with dr Lipman. well the stage is yours doctor what are you going to teach us about today well i want to give an introduction to um you know, physical evidence, that's the, the name brand of our business here, chiropractic and some of the other services that we offer. And I chose physical evidence because from that very young age, when I started to have some significant injuries and um, really started to, you know, be affected by them, but then started to have some insights on really how to, uh, to manage these things, to deal with them. So to me, there was some physical evidence available in my own body from significant injuries, just to kind of give you a little quick background on myself, how I got here. I wasn't supposed to be a chiropractor. I was supposed to go into a family owned plumbing manufacturing business and I was being groomed at a young age to do that. However, several significant injuries at a young age started me into another path. Um, my shoulder was dislocated when I was five and I had subsequent issues with that. But then when I was 15, I had a motorcycle injury where I broke my neck. And ultimately in my late teens, it was a chiropractic physician that I met that actually helped me alleviate the pain and restore function. Now, backtracking to when I was 10, a boy next door that was a few years older that was into working out got me into working out at 10. Even it got me off of Captain Crunch and Wonder Bread and actually starting to eat, you know, solid, healthy food at that age. And because I took to that, I took to exercise as part of my regular routine, that mixed very well with understanding how that became a component in sort of unwrapping you know, the injuries and how that manifests in the body. So those two components changed my whole trajectory of my career. And then not only was I able to learn how to manage my injuries in a way that really I wasn't taught in class, but things that I've learned along the way, um, you know, through my own experience myself. And then now again, through years and years with patients to see certain things that just don't seem to be common knowledge, but I've been really blessed to understand again for myself and then other people. So what I'd like to do in this format is to try to provide you out there in the audience things that might apply to you specifically for various conditions, be it shoulder or knee or hip or low back or neck or wrist or whatever it is, because I've come to learn how to manage these things. And before, it's funny, before the pandemic, I had already been thinking about can I really effectively help somebody that's never going to step into my office? And the answer is yes, because I had given homework to all my patients that came in. And then after, in that homework, there were processes where they can continually, you know, unwrap the, the things that cause all the dysfunction, which is causing the pain syndrome. So I'm going to make the format of this show each week focus on a specific injury. Now, most commonly low back pain, and that's the one I'm going to start off with next week, is the, you know, the number one. But if anybody out in the audience has any particular situations that they've been struggling with, I offer you to uh, get in touch with me. And um, I can focus on it not only in the show, but potentially we can sort of get together on a private Zoom and look into that to see if I can be of more service there. So um, again, the concept here is that we have a process that we've been using successfully in my office integrating many different things, sometimes products to use at home to, again, reinforce the changes 
of what you know is going on in the body because what I've learned over time is that most problems are really not structurally um, based. In other words, it's not just because of a herniated disc in the back, let's say, or a tear in a tendon in the shoulder or a tendonitis. That actually tends to, in my opinion, take the focus away of the real problem. So as an example, being down here in South Florida, we get a lot of what they call tennis elbow, which is a tendonitis on the outer part of the elbow, usually of the serving hand. Now, typically the treatment for that is a localized treatment, perhaps cortisone or something that is locally trying to work on the tendon here where the pain is. Now, my way of thinking and the way I've come to understand things is that my question is, well, why is a tendon you know, inflamed here? And really what it comes down to is the entire kinetic chain of movement from the shoulder all the way through the arm is part of that whole mechanical system, even as far as down as the hip on that side, because as we move and integrate motions, we have components throughout that chain that have to contribute to all those movements. And if certain areas, let's say if you tighten your hip, as an example, you're not getting as much, let's say, rotation or movement from the hip. So that movement has to be made up elsewhere, which puts additional strain on the other components, let's say through the shoulder and the arm and the wrist, and you put a racket in somebody's hand. Well, now all of a sudden there's developing a, a greater amount of tension, let's say here at the elbow where that turn is happening in that tennis swing. So those are the things that give me the opportunity to teach you. It's not just about putting ice on the elbow. It's about getting the tension out of all these other components. So now the whole system works together. I've seen that consistently with everything from, as I just mentioned, tennis elbow, but low back pain and virtually everything else that is there that people suffer from. And um, there's definitely things that can be done each day to, again, unwind the tension from the injury and then prevent it from coming back. So I have... Uh, a lot of um, insight, fortunately, to you know provide that information because I've been doing it for so long, and I live it every day myself. I mean, my focus when I'm in the uh, gym in the morning, I work out six days a week early before the day starts, is always about trying to get a functional you know workout. So when I'm working each day and I'm bending and twisting and picking people up, and um, sometimes these are really big people. I have to be able to do it safely and effectively for both them and myself. So my exercise and my workout has to condition me functionally to be able to do that safely and effectively. So that is also sort of the concept in that when you do fitness, it's not just about going on a machine and making bigger biceps. It's a lot more to understand how the body works together. I have certain Dr. Davisms that I've kind of, you know, spit out over the, the years to my patients. One of them is that the body functions together and it dysfunctions together. And that's just a reflection of how everything in the body connects. And it's so important to understand that because we all tend to draw in where we feel pain. We feel that where the pain is, that's where the problem is. But the pain is almost never where the real problem is. Sure, it ends up there, but where the pain is coming from is not where it's actually you know, starting from, I should say, where the pain is felt is not where it's coming from, it's where it's ending up. So understanding that from my standpoint as a practitioner is important, but it's also important for you as the person walking around in your body every day of, okay, I have this pain, so what's going on? How do I make the correction? But it's almost never, you know, again, taking the elbow. I mean, if somebody hits you with a hammer on the elbow, yeah, sure, that's the problem. But if it developed over time from playing a sport or some repetitive task, then there's more to it. And understanding that big picture is really key to be able to understand how to truly resolve these things. So, again, I have a huge belief in what's possible with the body. And I've just been, again, very fortunate because of my own injuries and being able to take these truths that I've come to learn and, you know, through thousands of patient patients and, you know, basically being able to, you know, take those processes and go. So I wanted to just provide a medium here that I might be able to, again, help people in ways that, you know, I've done it never before in this virtual way through educational material that we use here in the office anyway that we can now deliver, you know, in this format. So I'm very excited to be able to do that. And I want to be used as a resource for people. So if anybody hears this, if you're live now, if you see this later, 
I want you to reach out to me and um, give me an opportunity to see if I can help you help yourself because um, we have many processes and methods and products many times for support that can you can get at home and do these things. So want to uh, make this show something that's actually going to provide great value to people because I've been very fortunate here to be able to help so many people here that step into the office. I'd like to now expand and help others that may never step into this office. So that's going to be the, the format here. Again, anywhere that you're on the world, I want to be able to help you. I want to give you information that you might have never heard before and put it to you in a way that's going to be effective for you to be able to utilize that and to help you live a pain-free functional life from a physical standpoint. So I uh, welcome anybody now, if anyone has any quick questions, if anybody is listening live. And um, if not, um, and you're seeing this again later, we have, our, uh, con we have our contact information that you'll be able to reach out to us either through our website or the contact that is provided here um, on the, uh, the live and then the on-demand on look at this. So again, this is going to be something that's going to be going on, and I'm going to really do my very best to provide some really good content and education for you all. Okay. We are so honored and excited to have you in the network. One of the questions is, how can a person be helped virtually? Anyone that asks a question will get a complimentary virtual consult. What will that look like with you, doctor? Yeah, so um, we'll do a Zoom meeting because just like in the office, much of what I do is going through um, examinations or watching how movements are, you know, performed or, or how where the difficulty lies. So that kind of cues me in right away as where are the areas that we have to sort of address. And although I won't be able to manually do that, I have processes that I can have a person do on themselves or in some cases if they have a partner at home, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, sibling, whatever it is, a friend that can actually help do some of the things that I might have done, not of course adjusting, it would be something more in a way of helping to release muscle tension, sometimes through some of the um, products that are out there like uh, massagers, percussive guns, things like that. So I'm going to be able to lead somebody through a process, whether they're alone or with some help to go through you know, a foundational change and then take them through a process to continue to improve that functionality over time virtually. That's incredible. I love that. I love that you want to help so many people and that not only are you helping people, you're also networking. Dr. Lipman attends the Tuesday networking group. The world is also invited to that to come and connect with Dr. Lipman. And it sounds like there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to help people with their physical health, uh, not only in person, but virtually. And I think that really sets you apart as a chiropractor. So what is your number one law for today that you want us to remember? Where your pain is being felt is not where it's coming from, it's where it's ending up. So that is a big one, to stop localizing in your mind that the problem's where you feel the pain. It's almost never there, and it's something more mechanically related to that area, but it's coming from someplace else. That's very important to learn, to learn that law. Well, that is incredible. And everyone can visit physicalevidencechiropractic.com. You can also take a picture of the QR code on the screen and get all of Dr. Lippman's links. So stay connected with Dr. Lippman. Remember, in the Laws of Life webcast network, it's not just about watching, it's about networking. So keep engaging, join us every Tuesday at 11 for networking. And let's share and like and have this first show go viral. Let's give Dr. Lipman some Facebook love. Dr. Lipman, thank you for all you do to educate us and keep us healthy. We appreciate it. My, my pleasure, Blanca. Thank you. And thank you, everybody else that's interested. Reach out. All right. Have an awesome day. Thank you so thank you, much. Sir. Thank you. Bye, everyone.